Initial impressions of Vern Gagne? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was probably the best times of my life, too, there. I mean, we had, we ribbed them so bad. I, I'm surprised we had a job with them. Huh. Really was. I mean, I, the best rib in the world was on Vern. Tell know? us about it. Well, what had happened was we got into this thing where locks, we put locks on everything, on the briefcases, on on uh, you know doors, and then we started putting it on car doors, you know, how you used to have to put your hand in there and push the thing and pull out your door. Well, we put the locks on the door, on the, on the what do you call it, the... Uh, the front hood thing with the with the emblem of right. the car, and so if you're driving down the road, <laughs> you're just, da, 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 and it just dents your car to hell, right? So anyway, it just got out of hand where they were locking bags to the to lockers and locking you know you know guys in the bathroom with the locks. It just got crazy. So Vern had a meeting and. Uh, he came in, he goes, that's it, guys, I'm closing down the territory. He goes, one more fucking rib like that. He goes, I'm closing this fucking place down. And we're going, okay, okay, okay. And he goes, and then it was like, I mean, you couldn't get better time because here comes fucking Nick Bockwinkle. And he's, you know, he used to wear those Porsche glasses. <laughs> Someone put a fucking lock on the middle of his fucking glasses and he came out screaming, are you fucking kidding me? Like this. And Vern fucking just turns fucking red and grabs his fucking, he goes, fuck you guys, you're all fucking fired. And went to grab his briefcase and was locked to the fucking desk. And he's trying to drag the desk out of the fucking room and we could not control ourselves. We were laughing so fucking hard. It was just the best rib we have ever seen. I tell you, man, those were the days, I mean, when you could do that shit. Speaking of ribs, you talked about him earlier because his father was Larry the Axe. Kurt Henning is known in the business to be like the ultimate ribber. That guy was a genius at ribs. I mean, he could do, I mean, oh my God. There were so many times, I mean, I, I'd want to kill him because he got us so good. I mean, uh, the best time he got us right, I said, I'm getting Kurt tonight, you know, and uh, I would think I got him good, you know. What we did was we broke off the toothpicks in his locks and his rent a car out of town. We were like whoa, way up Sheboygan or something like that. Right. And it was like far, nice trip, right? So anyway, we went to this place called Sheboygan and uh, broke off the uh, uh, picks, toothpicks in his locks so he couldn't get in the car. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we got him good and he, you know, and they said, oh, okay, okay, okay. So we go to get in the fucking car after TV and it's like, holy shit, man, it's like uh, midnight and the whole, it's a baseball field we parked on and it's pitch black. So I get in the car and start the car and I turn on the lights and <laughs> Man, I'm going, what the fuck is going on, man? I said, can't see shit out here, right? And I even turned on the lights. We got out, and the motherfucker painted my lights black. Wow. And I go, oh, my God, man. So anyway, we're trying to scrape off the paint, right? And I finally get off the paint off the fucking uh, headlights. So all of a sudden, man, and we get all the paint off the headlights and everything, and then we're going, what the fuck is going on? The window, you know? And we're trying to figure out why is the window all blurry and everything, right? And I go out there and I turn on the windshield wipers and it's fucking motor oil. Oh. He had poured all down and perfectly. So all you see was like, you know, you thought you were on acid or something looking out the window. So when you did the window, uh, the windshield wiper, it got worse. Then you turn on the, the what do you call it, windshield wiper uh, with the water sprayer, and then it gets even fucking worse. And we're like, oh, my God. So I get this bright idea. I got gas can in the back. So I pour gas over the oils to get all the fucking thing. He drives by and fucking throws a match on the fucking car. Oh. <laughs> fucking up in flames. And we're going, you got to be fucking kidding me, man. It was just fucking crazy. I mean... Shit like that, you just can't fucking know. Did you get Henning back for that? Uh, no, I don't fuck with Henning after that. <laughs> you just don't want to fuck with him. He'll get you ten times worse, whatever you do, man.